Good day everyone! Welcome to JD's channel. Today, we're going to discuss another topic. And I'm so excited to share it with you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you and God bless. Good day everyone! Our topic for today is all about operational amplifier. So let's get started. Let me share to you my screen. Okay, here we go. Operational amplifier. So again, I'm Engineer Jonas, your guest lecturer for this topic. For the introduction, having learned the basic laws and theories for circuit analysis, we are now ready to study an active circuit element, which is the operational amplifier. The op Building block. The op amp is an electronic unit that behaves like a voltage controlled voltage source. It can also be used in making a voltage or current controlled current source. An operational amplifier can sum signals, amplify a signal, integrate it, or differentiate it. The ability of an operational amplifier to perform this mathematical operation is the reason it is called an operational amplifier. It is also the reason for the widespread use of op-amp in analog design. An op-amp are popular in practical circuit design because they are versatile, inexpensive, easy to use, and fun to work with. For definition, an operational amplifier commonly called the op-amp is a device that can be used to perform mathematical operations such as addition, subtraction, amplification, attenuation, integrity, integration, and differentiation. It is a versatile integrated circuit or the IC chip that is widely used in amplifiers, filters, signal conditioning, and instrumentation signal circuits. The circuit symbol for a top amp is shown in figure below. So here we can see the positive terminal which is the BP and the negative terminal which is the BN and the output which is P sub O. So let's get into details of these three. Okay, as we can see from figure above, there are two input terminal and one output terminal for an amp. The voltage that is in positive input terminal, that is the non-inverting input terminal, is the BP. The voltage at the negative input terminal, that is the inverting out input terminal, is the BN. And the output and the voltage at the output terminal, so here, is the Figure below is the 8-pin or the pin configuration of typical 8-pin package. So, shows the so yung ating pin configuration for the typical 8-pin package. So, here we can see that pin number 2, which is the inverting output terminal, and the pin number 3 is the non 
inverting input terminal. The, out, the output signal is available at pin number 6. So here it is. And the pin number 7 is the positive power or positive supply, which is the BCC positive. And the number 4 is the negative power supply, which is the negative or the BCC negative. So that is our pin configuration of a typical 8 pin package of amp. Okay, the operational amplifier to facilitate the understanding of operational amplifier circuit, we will assume ideal of amps. The of amp is ideal if it has the following characteristics. So, number one is infinite open loop key. So, our ideal of amp is ha or has an infinite open loop key. Number two, our ideal of amp has infinite input resistance or the R sub I. And for number three, uh, our ideal of amp has zero output resistance. Okay. So uh, an ideal of amp is an amplifier with infinite open loop gain, infinite input resistance, and zero output resistance. Although assuming ideal of amp provides only an approximate analysis, most modern amplifiers have such large gain and input impedance that the approximate analysis is a good one. Unless stated otherwise, it is assumed that every op amp is ideal. So, ayan. Ideal pa rin ang ating ginagamit. For circuit analysis, the ideal of amp illustrated in figure below. So here, we can see the ideal of amp model. So our BP, our, B sub, our B sub N, our BP, and our output. So here, uh, ideal of a model i uh, i sub 1 is equal to 0 i sub 2 is equal to 0 also and b sub 2 is equal to b sub 1 so there are two important things or we need to keep in mind to or in solving problems in ideal of amps. So, the important properties of an ideal of amps are so first, the current in to both input terminals are zero. So, mean to say, like what we have the previous slide, I sub 1 is equal to zero and I sub 2 is equal to zero. Let's say it is our equation 1. Why I sub 1 and I sub 2 is equal to 0? This is true to infinite input resistance. An infinite resistance between the input terminals implies that the open circuit exists there. And current cannot enter the op amp. But the output current is not necessary least zero. So that is the first property of our ideal of amp. The next one or the other one is the voltage across the input terminal is equal to zero also. So our B1 will be equal to B2. Let's say it is our equation B. Thus an idea so why 
by 80. So, that's the ideal of um, has zero current into each two input terminal and the voltage between the two input will or is equal also to zero. So, equation A and equation B are extremely important and should be regarded as the key handle to analyze the op-up circuit. So, yun lang ang ating nakakatandaan. So, the equation A and the equation B. So, in solving uh, problems with regards to op-amps or the operational amplifiers. So, that is our theory about op-amps. So, let's go to our exercise. Ayan. So, for sample problem, for the circuit shown in figure below, calculate the closed loop gain or the V sub O over the V sub S and also find I sub O when V or the supply voltage is 1 volt. So, here is our circuit. So, prepare your pen and calculator and also your paper and we will solve this one. For solution, we have to replace the op-amp in figure A, which is ito, ito yung ating given circuit, by its equivalent model in figure B. So, ito na siya. Gagawin natin siyang ganito. So, we need to keep, ayun, so yung ating equation A, kanina na tackle, and equation B in mind, as we analyze the figure in, yan, figure A below. So, ito yung ating original circuit. And then, gagawin natin siyang ganito. So, ano ba yung mga napadagdag? So, yung ating I sub 2 here is equal to 0. I sub 1 is equal to 0. And then, yung ating V sub 2 and V sub 1. And also, the flow of current. So, I sub O. So, we have here also the flow of current and this one which is in node O. So, for our solution, okay. in the figure, we notice that uh, V sub S or so V sub 2 is equal to our supply voltage. Okay? We can see here. And also, our I sub 1 is equals to 0. And the current flowing from uh, 5 kilo ohms and all in. 40 kilo ohms is the I sub 1. Meaning to say, uh, 0 na yung ating current dito since I sub 1 yung dumadala dito sa ating na current. And we have uh, B sub O dito, yung kanyang voltage. So kung mapapansin natin, uh, medyo familiar ito ang setup na to. So, ito yung ating uh, set up pag tayo ay gumagamit ng voltage division theorem. So, we can use voltage division theorem in finding yung ating V sub 1. Kasi yung V sub 1, yun yung voltage dito sa ating 5 kilo ohms. So, as we can see here. So, mamaya kasi, ayan, uh, makukuha. Gagamitin natin yan to, fa to find yung ating yan, B, sub o, B sub O over B sub S. So, paano daw yung lumabas? So, using our BDT, ito yung ating B sub 1 is equal sa 5 over 5 plus 40 times yung ating B sub O. 
using the voltage division theorem. So, or the voltage division principle. So, yan. So, okay. Yeah, yeah, add lang natin and it is right. So, we will get sub over 9. That is RB sub 1. Okay, since our condition in equation A and equation B, so equation A is I sub 1 is equals to 0, I sub 2 is equals to 0, and equation B is B sub 2 is equals to B sub 1. So again, yun ang sabi sa atin kanina sa jury that we need to keep in mind those two equations. Because yun yung gagamitin natin dito. So, we have the value of P sub 1 which is B sub O over 9. And since B sub O or B1 is equals to B2 and B2 is equals to B sub S, meaning to say, we can say that B2 or BS is equals to B sub 1, which is B sub 1 is equals to B sub O over 9. So, ayan po. So, B sub S is equals to B sub O over 9. And then, i-arrange lang natin, we will get the B sub O over B sub S, which is 9. So, ito yung una nating hinahanap. Yung ating uh, loop gain. Ayan, guys. Sorry. Yung ating close loop gain. Yan. Close loop gain. And then, the next one is our I sub O. So, how, how to get our I sub O? Okay. So, finding I sub O from our circuit again. So, as we can see here, ito yung ating I sub O. And then, may mga current na, nag nag na dumaan dito and dumaan dito. So, na-divide yung value ng ating I sub O. So, we need to uh, get the value of this and the value of this current here. So, ACL at node uh, O. So, I sub O. So, yung pumasok is equals dun sa mga out or naglumabas. So, yung input natin is I sub O is equal sa so, saan ba pupunta yung current na ito. So, ang current na ito, dadaan siya dito sa ating 40 at saka sa ating 5. Since yan ay pupunta lagi ng ground. So, ang ating current is always pupunta ng ground natin. So, ngayon, itong current na to is yung sum natin ng 40. Yung current dito at yung current dito. So, pinagsama lang natin 40 plus 5. And then, yung ating voltage dito, ano po, is yung ating P sub O. So, and then, i-add lang natin yung current naman natin na dadaan dito. Which is B sub O over yung kanyang resistance. So, in milliampere's. Okay. So, we need to substitute the value of P sub O. Okay. So, again, ang ginamit lang natin dito, since di ba sabi natin, yung voltage dito is equal sa P sub 1. So, in terms ng B sub 1 po and, and B sub O, ginamit natin yung uh, yung voltage natin dito kaya ay V sub O. Po, ay hindi V sub 1 ang ating sinuha. So, yung voltage through in terms ng B sub O. Okay, so B sub O is equal again sa ayan. So, yung ating V sub O over B sub S. In getting B sub O when B sub S is equals to 1, so multiply lang natin, and we will get B sub O is equals to 9 volts. 
we have the value of our b sub o posit tayo sa solving i sub o substituting the value of b sub o from our equation so b sub o is equals to 9 over 40 plus 5 plus 9 over 20 so upon calculating this we will get 0 0.2 plus 0 0.45 so ito po yung ating mga result and then the final answer is 0 0.65 milliampers so po ang ating value ng i sub o so ito po yung isang example on how we will solve problems with regards sa ating operational amplifier. So, any question po? So, hopefully, I mean, natutunan po kayo sa ating discussion. Okay. And para po malaman natin kung tayo ay natuto, okay, we will try this isang example, sabi nga, is try it yourself. Ano ba? So, ito yung ayun, uh, practice problem and try it yourself. For the practice problem, a 741 up amp has an open loop voltage gain of 2 times 10 phase to 5 input resistance of 2 mega ohm and the output resistance of 50 ohms. Find the close loop gain B sub O over B sub S. Determine and also determine the, uh, the current, the current I, then uh, B S or the voltage source or the supply voltage is 2 volts. So we have the answer, but uh, you need to try it yourself. Okay po. So that's all for today and to God be all the glory.